Hey everyone, it's ABJ here. Today I wanted to showcase the interval map. Uh, with the interval map, we are able to see how exposures are changing throughout the intraday session. Hope you guys enjoy. So here we have the interval map, and I'm also gonna have the exposure by strike on the right here to show you the relation and the difference between these two tools. As I said previously, the interval map is the tool we use to visualize how exposures are changing throughout the intraday session. And you can see that up here, I have changed the aggregation period to three minutes. Uh, now you can change it to five minutes or whatever period you'd like. Um, I chose three minutes because uh, it seems to be the sweet spot for me. Strike padding, I've changed it to 10. Uh, this allows me to see strikes across the vertical axis. And you can change it to whatever screen resolution you may want. It uh, depends on how big your screen is and how much you want to see. But uh, I found that 10 is a pretty good sweet spot for me. So right now I'm showcasing a delta exposure. And this is May 27th. Now we can see right from the open that we are in an area of positive delta exposures. You can see that both on the exposure by strike as well as the interval map. You can see that as soon as we open, we are in an area where it's all positive deltas. Now, the interest here is that 5,900. You can see it again, both here on the exposure by strike and here on the interval map. But the difference and the usefulness of the interval map is here. So let's say we have moved in time about two hours. Let's go to 8 a.m. Right, so this is what ADM looks like right now. Instead of using the exposure by strike, you scroll back in time to see where we came from and how the exposures have changed, we can quickly use the interval map to identify the change. So you can see right in this area, at, as soon as we hit ADM, let's go back to ADM, and you wanted to see, okay, well, how far did that 5900 contract by, right? That was the point of interest that we saw. So we can see it right here. So that's 806. We can go right here to 806. And you can see that how small this bubble is, right? So 806, it has contracted by from, it is now 14 billion negative, but it started the day at 102 billion in negative exposure. So we can see that that level after we hit New York City lunch, which is 9 a.m. for me, that level of 5900 became positive and it is now support. And so we bought this back. So you can quickly identify Delta contract with this tool. Now we can also use it for Gamma and Vanna and Charm to see how exposures have changed throughout the day. So it's a very quick and easy way to identify exposures. Now the market is still running right now. It's 10, 11 a.m. So we just passed New York City a lunch. I want to show you what Gamma looks like right now. So you can kind of see. Uh, so here we are, 10, 12. And as time is going on, we can see that, okay, 6,000 was a point of interest. We're traversing in positive gamma. And as of right now, uh, 6,000 continues to hold strong. So we can see across time that this hasn't changed at all. Now we understand the obligation effects of gamma, it being a magnet for price. Now we have from, well, basically the open of the day, all the way to the close of the day, so we still have about three hours of the market left, to potentially meet this obligation, or does it deplete and does it roll to another day? Now, we can look on the interval map really quickly to see what's changed. So let's go to June 5th. So that's tomorrow, 6,000 still holding very strong. So there's something here. This, this strike has not changed. Let's go to Friday. Is it still there? It's still there. And we can actually see that there's support, gamma support down here, 59.75. So again, this tool, fantastic to see where exposures are changing, how they're changing, and how we can use that to identify if maybe there's a new level, a new point of interest for us to focus on. And that's that. So yeah, that's the interval map. If you guys like this, let us know. All right, so that's our rundown on the interval map. If you guys like that, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be putting out more videos just like this one. Thank you.